That's a crack. Hi Trivers, welcome back to another episode. What we want to say to you is a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Ew. Cheers. Happy New Year's everybody. We hope you're having a very safe holiday um, and what we're bringing to you this week is just some highlights and some favourite bits of 2023 for us. Yeah, it's a recap of our favourite moments of 2023. Uh, there were plenty of them we've done. Way too many moments to put on camera. <laughs> yeah, we've done, we done a lot in 2023. It was an amazing year. Um, but we picked out our five that we will see. You'll see that there's six. One of them is more of what come, what have come out of the area. We'll get onto that when we get to it. But yeah, so we picked out our five favourite moments that really stand out for us and they're for diff very different reasons um and we will tell you that along the way but our first one is of tasmania yeah now tassie was incredible and there is way too much to cover um the just the amount of cool places there like cradle mountain leaving canyon you got strathgordon there's cockle creek they're just the list is endless to tarkine drive but one moment that really stood out for us was we left the van behind, we left the van in Hobart and we headed over to Bruni Island with the swags and the truck. Um, it was epic. It was the first time we left the van behind and we get a lot of comments saying, you know, blah, 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 you're just taking your luxury, you know, caravan everywhere you go. Well, yes, it is our home. We live in it full time. Um, if you're watching our videos, you know this, but this is one time where we had so much fun just yeah, leaving right. the van behind and taking the swag. Yeah, Bruni Island's insane, so let's check it out. <laughs> So apparently this is a must-do. Uh, someone around here obviously bakes all this bread fresh each day. Sourdough and there's a sultana one, but yeah, apparently it's red hot, so we can't go past a good sourdough. And apparently these Anzac biscuits are meant to be the business, so. We are gonna have a go at all of them. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> might be an expensive little shop at stop at the fridge bakery, but and anyway, yeah. apparently it's a must do and it's the best bread you'll ever eat, so. And we'll let you know as soon as we've tried some. <laughs> and we do love a bit of bread just quietly, so. <laughs> I know, let's cool. see what we get. Are we gonna get some of these? What is that? What is this? Anzac biscuits. Okay. Can we, can we just get one? Like... <laughs> yeah, so you can pay cash or there's like a bank, all the details to do a bank transfer, yeah. so. Yeah. Um, yeah, people still got a bit of faith in humanity, so don't screw it up. Leave your money. <laughs> so it got the better of us. We could smell it in the car, and we pulled over to have a slice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is horrible. We just Fresh could, bread. Yeah, we just could not let it go by, so we pulled over to Coal Bay. Crack them back drop, but yeah, let's crack into it and see what it's like. Cool. Probably could have got a better bread knife. Brought all of our finest utensils. <laughs> wow. Oh, stop it. Ah, seven bar fifty alive, fresh out of the bloody fire because you can still see the coal on it. Uh, wow. Every day I'll I do that. Help it. Mind you, tomorrow we may be back getting another. <laughs> On the way out. Alright, oh, no. give us your birdie. Mm. No one gonna say. <laughs> Knives. So good. <laughs>
it's a cloudy corner, which is at the eastern end of Cloudy Beach. Little well, Cloudy Bay, a little drive along the sand and up into a beautiful little campground. We're gonna set the awning out, get the swag set up and get this camp organized. Like we said, we've got no idea what we're doing, but we'll give it a shot. It's the first time, so we can only, only get better from here on in. That's right, we can only get better. Yeah, so <laughs> anyway, we'll set it up and see what it looks like. This is us, all set up. It's not yonder, but it's uh, gonna be pretty damn cozy. Pretty impressed with it, actually. Having a marshmallow cook off, and seeing as though I am the self professed marshmallow master, the boys are trying to better me to no avail, but anyway, they're giving it a red eye crack. He's got an F for failure. <laughs> I don't know, he's come up, he's, he's come in. I'm brutally honest when it comes to marshmallow Tasty. ratings. <laughs> Bit of work to be done, but I'll give that one a I'll give that one a low six. Bit hard on the inside, not quite candid on the outside, but good attempt for a for a little fella. Which is like my second. Yeah. Oh, look at this monstrosity that he's doing <laughs> over here. Hey, <laughs> dig him. <laughs> I don't think he's literally. Gonna... <laughs> no, the fire. Hey, what have I got to put up with? Hey, dig him. It's still on fire. Ew. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'll try and teach these young whippersnappers some good some stuff about cooking marshmallows. <laughs> I could beat him. It, the, the flame, the wind just blew the flame <laughs> right into my marshmallows. <laughs> the wind blew the flame and bleh, bleh, bleh. Just admit it that I'm better. No. As you remember, we <laughs> got the Anzac biscuits from the... Um, Bruni Baker. Yeah. Out of the fridge. $2.50 for some chocolate covered Anzacs and we've got marshmallows and a fire and we thought, well actually it was Jet's idea, we'd make some small this is our first time. So the perfect Anzac biscuit with the perfect marshmallow. Give that a squeeze together and see what... Oh, <laughs> I don't mind if we do. Five stars. <laughs> oh, good eh? So if you're looking for us, you know where to find us. We're sitting here eating s'mores. Some of the best s'mores you're ever going to have. <laughs> oh. I don't even know if that's how you make s'mores. It is. Well, that's a that's our version of a s'more. <laughs> Thank you.
Alright, so that was Bruni Island. Um, absolutely stunning place. And those s'mores burned in the memory mm, bank for yum. a bloody long time. They were very yummy. Yes. Anyway, so we finished our time in Tassie. We've done two and a half months there. Come back to the mainland. And in true trip form, had zero idea where we're headed. So it was we put only us... just a little story on Instagram that we put a shout out like where are we Wait. going next give us some suggestions and we got a reply back from some of our most beloved travel family yeah, uh, we friends had... that we just absolutely adore yeah we had never met them before we <laughs> briefly given a, had a couple of messages before we went to Tassie um, they said come and see us will it right oh, why not what's the worst can go wrong so we got back to him and said, sure. So Demi and Paul from PKDK Adventures. Hi. Down on, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, so they were working at Southwest Rocks NRMA Park. So we went up there. Yeah. We originally booked in for three days. Rock Which up. is a fantastic park, by the way. Oh. Go there and visit. It's Absolutely amazing, mint. especially for the kids. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we booked it in. We went up there. We were meant to go for three days. Ended up staying for a bit over three weeks because we ended up getting a crack and deal through NRMA. But... Anyway, let's get up there and check out Southwest Rocks. This place blew us away. So this is uh, this is camp. We're camped up right down the back of the park in the unpowered section. We're over here catching up with Demi and Paul from PKDK Adventures. Um, yeah, so we just got the unpowered and the deal we got down here for being NRMA members was ridiculous. Yeah, um, yeah we're just so stoked with our, the deal we got. So we ended up staying for a week. We're only gonna stay for three nights, but yeah, this park is pretty damn cool. Probably one of the better parks you've been to, I reckon. Um. Well, guys, we're at this massive bridge where the boys are gonna jump off. There's a huge deep area here, and um, yeah, they're up there. They're ready to go. So let's let's see if they have the courage to do this. Jet, just run and jump. Nice. Go on, Jack. You want to go first? You want to go first? Woo! <laughs> Arms out. Oh my God. Jesus, get away from me! <laughs> 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 Where? That rock. That is so scary. Yeah, there's oysters over here. Just it's watch. So Yeah, keep your hands close. Uh, <laughs> jet, jet that way. Ow. No, because um. Nothing higher than that, and I'm not jumping. Did you touch an oyster? <laughs> you. So we've come over to this little bridge, little, maybe not, um, come over here to have a little swim and I jump off the bridge. It was awesome. Stepped outside my comfort zone. Uh, didn't think I'd do it, but I got down there and it is high, well, for me. Beach sands, gonna head from Southwest Rocks, right down to Port Macquarie, which is about 90k along the beach. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun, so much excitement today. We yeah. might chuck the drone up and have a look as well. Yeah, we've got the rods packed, we've got lunch packed, we've got everything packed. Um, yeah, so there's three beaches we'll drive along. Uh, each one at the end of it, you get off, go through the town and back onto another beach and you're driving. It's going to be sick. Weather tea. So 
Jen and I are just taking a quick walk down the beach track, see how soft it is. Daniel's umming and ahhing whether to let the air down in the tyres. But it's been um, on and off raining the last couple of days, so it should be pretty hard. And we're taking a look. This bit that we're walking at the moment is pretty hard, but it is a beautiful morning. I'll turn you around and have a look at the beach. We're tracking you in the goal. So we went down to check it out. She's a little, looks a little bit soft down there. So we're just gonna drop some air out of the tires. Put the old indicator on, we'll probably drop it down to about 25, I reckon, and see how we go from there. and that bridge and the height of that bridge still gives me uh, like goosebumps yeah, it's the, crazy the boys still <laughs> frothing over that they loved it um yeah so we spent three three and a bit weeks there like we said and then we left there and we went and met up with our best mates our, my, our, our lifelong friends on the biggest sand island in the world we went to fraser island had the most ridiculous time so um, highly recommend Fraser Island if you can get there. It is just amazing just to see the, you know, Australian landscape and as Danny said, the massive sand island that it is. It's yeah. if yeah, if we said we weren't shitting ourselves taking our <laughs> setup over there, we would be definitely lying. Like <laughs> leading up to it we were petrified, but it was we timed it perfectly, the weather was yeah. perfect, the sand was perfect, everything was just, we couldn't have had it better. Except for the March flies, but we'll yeah. leave that there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go and check out our six days on Fraser Island. Morning, it is about six o'clock on a Monday morning and we are heading to Fraser, baby. You Head down, we are good to go, we're heading into Inskip now, we'll drop her into four wheel drive and send it across the sand and Fingers crossed we don't make it to the Olga Bogdan Inskip um, YouTube channel. But <laughs> if I said I if I'd said I wasn't nervous, I would be lying. I'm absolutely crapping myself. But anyway, it's um all part of the adventure. We'll see how we go. But if the next shot you see is me digging a hole, you know why. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be all digging holes. A lot of people have told us we're nuts for bringing this over, but we'll see. Right, let's get in there and get into four-wheel drive and get across your sand. Yeah, we're heading across the sand. Yeah,
come to Fraser. Here we go. Yeah. Just about to drive off and head on our little adventure. Creek. Unfortunately about 6,000 other people have too but we've got our floaties and gonna go up and do what you gotta do when you come to Fraser and float down Eli Creek so you let's go do it. On a poo. On a poo. <laughs> The water is so cold. I'm just gonna run into Matt's spot here. <laughs> you gonna give me? An eel. Yeah. Spotted a freshwater eel. Look at this. This is the iconic Lake Mackenzie. How bloody good is this? Got all G'd up, I got to tell the water was freezing. It is heavenly. What do you reckon, bud? Pretty good? It's so good. And it gets really deep out there. Oh, gee, I, no, I haven't been in yet, but. Let's give it a. Give it a shot and see what it's really like in there. Absolutely in the bar. Well that was bloody amazing. We just spent about two hours sitting in the water. Um, yeah, just couldn't ask for much more there, so, but so we're just getting a little bit of a change coming over. So we're bailing and we're going to head back to camp. But yeah, definitely, 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 if you come to Fraser, put Lake Mackenzie on your list. Don't miss out on it. It is awesome. We went for a fish. Still can't catch a fish to save our life. But um, we noticed in the water that there were plenty of crabs. So as we're driving down the beach, we've just been looking for black spots in the water. Anyway, we finally got a couple. I'm pretty sure that they're muddies, but tip them out and have a look. Pretty sure they're muddy, but they're not quite legal, but still pretty cool. Kids are frothing on it. Now the infamous Nagala rocks. We uh, just joined the queue. There's a few lined up. There's a few got stuck. So we're just going up to have a look at it before we hit it. People letting the tyres down and not feeling it's a whole lot of confidence, but we'll go check it out, see what it's uh, got to offer.
at the top of the sand dunes. How amazing! This is such a good lookout and these sand dunes go for miles and what a cracker of a day. We've got a storm rolling in over the back there so it is starting to rain a little bit but we're going to set up down this nice sand hill here and have some lunch and then try and beat the tides back but this has been an awesome, awesome day. Watching that for me just brought back the good feels. That was just, oh, Fraser Island was absolutely amazing. Hit us right in the feels that one did. Yeah, that was awesome. If you haven't been to Fraser, definitely put it on the bugger list and make the effort to go there. And just squeezing the big ram through those rocks, oh, the adrenaline rush through that. Yeah, yeah the Gala Rocks crazy. is intense. Anyway, so we left Fraser and we headed north. Now, this is the one we're adding in. It's not so much for the place, but from what transpired out of it, we. Went to a camp out organised by Landervan at a, um, a property in Baffle Creek and amazing area. So anyway, check this out. Baffle Creek is pretty cool. So we've come down to a bit of a drive down to Rules Beach get down here and it turns out you can drive on there so what do you do when you get to a beach you can drive on you go for a drive on it so nice little entry down here um sand is solid pretty solid and the beach looks hard as a rock so you know well maybe not so much there that's a bit uh -uh. maybe there's a bit softer yeah down here is nice enough so we're gonna go send it up to the river mouth and have a look and there's stuff in the way so don't run over yeah, the a few sticks and stuff logs. logs sticking out but so we're trying I'm our I'm luck with not letting the air down in the tires we're so. also trying to do two wheel drive which probably isn't as <laughs> cleverest of ideas but you know so how about we try and yeah we might try wheel drive, wheel drive. Turn on my... <laughs> and see how we go with not letting the air down in the tires turn all the um what is it? <laughs> ESC and whatnot off because that doesn't like driving on the sand and losing traction, so. It actually is That's pretty soft. So, um, even though it's got a high, uh, low, it's like at low tide at the moment, but it's got a high, um, what am I trying to say? A high tide mark where the sand's really hard. It's actually quite soft, so. Yeah, anyway, we'll see how we go. Hopefully we don't get bored. Oh, what a going this is absolutely beautiful like just the water and the sand in this area is like amazing I think we should go for a fish here but um, we don't have any bait so we might have to come back to Savo not sure if 45 PSI is it but what we got <laughs> here whether we get out of it I'm not convinced but I'll try that in a minute I don't know we'll have a look at this tire What are you doing, Jack? Don't bog us in even further.
There goes the crew. You. What a sick day. Set up. Just kids went nuts. Dang it. And so from this amazing organized camp out where we actually just went to, you know, connect with other traveling families and try and make some um, friends on the road, which and, we did. Try and talk to someone that wasn't the kids. <laughs> Um, Which we did, we made some magic lifelong friends. Yeah, so um, we ended up... go round and Outback Odyssey, like, amazing. Yeah. And, yeah, we ended up travelling them for... Probably the next three months, the, the next, next three, three or months. four months. And yeah. And it was... The day we had to split ways was devastating. But, yeah, we made some lifelong yes. friends out of that... Out of that camp out. So that's why that one was special to us. Yeah, so as you will see next is travelling a bit with uh, four go round. Uh, we go up to 1770 and what a magic place that is. Everyone's bucket list. Everyone <laughs> has to visit 1770 at some point. The sunsets there wow. are as good as any you'll see anywhere in the world, but there is plenty more to that place than just sunsets. And we had the most amazing time. We even um, caught some fish. Yeah, even caught a couple <laughs> of fish. Uh, anyway, check out 1770. This place rocks. Check this place out. Holy God. It's been a while since we've been to uh, been anything that looks like this. It is uh, magnificent. When the tide comes back in, it'll probably look even better. Uh, Mum's on. Oh. oh, yay! You fish on finally. Finally caught a decent fish. <laughs> nice little brimbo. There's heaps of uh, heaps of been about heaps of bias, but this is the first time we managed. We've got about 300 pillies, so. I don't know, I think he might turn into dinner. Do you want to go again? No, Brim have got to be 25 in Queensland. And this one is... And this one is... So we've got to make sure you're doing the right thing. This one is... 32. So... Keeper. Finally got a keeper. So Hayley's going to turn him into dinner, I reckon. <laughs> yep. Mum's on. We've got another little Brimbo. Yeah, this out, I just dropped one on my foot. The tide's coming in so quick now and there's oysters everywhere. We're gonna to have to be very careful. <laughs> a bit of karma, the fish got me back for hooking it through the mouth, I guess. So anyway, let's get this little fella off and get it back out. It's a bit of fun, but Quite a keeper, but better than what we have been doing. Great little fighters, our Brim. Great for the kids. They normally take anything, and speaking of kids, I don't know what this one's over here doing, but I'm about to lose all my rods in the water. <laughs> yeah, we'll get, we'll get this and throw them back in. Just the keeper, but nah. I don't think we'll keep him. I don't mind. I don't like keeping things that are just on legal, but how bloody good is this? Sitting down, a few bevies, lines out, kids are down there smashing the fish, a little whiting coming in everywhere. And check this. Yep, that'll do. Seriously, if you haven't made your way to 1770 and experienced one of these sunsets, they are epic and something that everyone should experience. We spent every afternoon down here just fishing and watching the sun go down, watching the rays swim around and just taking it all in. But yeah, if you um, are going to do one thing in your life, get a 1770 and witness one of these sunsets. They are incredible. Yeah, so as you say, 1770 is an absolute stunner. Um, and to catch some fish was pretty cool because we haven't done, that, done it anywhere near as much of that as we thought we would. But we left 1770 with four go around, Tim and Suze and their kids. 
And we made it up to one of the most iconic places in Australia to start our Cape York trip, Lions Den Hotel. Yeah, which is now, as everyone probably knows, um, yeah, not bit, doing under so the weather, well. <laughs> uh, with the flooding and things like that. So let's, fingers crossed, let's hope that gets up and running again. Um, yeah, shout but, out. Yeah, this is our time to... Just pay, reminisce. Yeah, about, reminisce, pay tribute to the Lions Den. Yeah, had an absolute banging couple of nights there. Had one night where we drank probably way too much, but anyway. We won't talk about that. Yeah, so then <laughs> straight from there, we hooked up with our back Odyssey and we done our trip to the very tip of Australia. We done Cape York. So sit back and enjoy this because this trip up there was probably the highlight of our year. Um, yeah, so enjoy. Check out Cape York. Ooh, time to go up for our first <laughs> beer of the Lions Den. Ooh. Pretty yeah, that was well. Show you the time of your life. I want to figure out what it takes to give you everything you desire I want to lay beneath the stars with you in the back of my truck Boy, it's right, you know it? You just score the board table for a bit There has been a serious amount of travel that's come through this place. Yeah, that's why they've been in there. Anyway, right, we are going to get a beer. Okay, Joe, do you want to go in there? Oh, yeah. Right now. What's the thing? Yep. They're about as bad as they were last time we had them. Have you ever really done the old telly track if you haven't stopped in front of the sign and got photos? I don't think so. So. The obligatory photos. And then we can just go back to camp and pretend we've done it. No. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Alright, i get these photos done. And then get down there and have a look. And we've made it to Palm Creek. So we are finally getting around to ticking off one of Haley's bucket list for the trip. You know, fruit fat. There's a lot of people here. As you can expect, being one of the most popular places on the Cape, but check this place out, it is pretty cool. Once you hit the car park at Elliot Falls, it's a 210 metre walk along the boardwalk into the falls themselves, which, uh, as you can see, bloody sensational. Uh, the boys are just going nuts, jumping off the rocks and carrying on, so we're just going to hang out here and play around on the rocks for a bit more, and then we'll catch up a little bit later. How cool is this one? It's pumping hard. You probably can't hear much of me, it is so loud, but it is amazing. There's so much water here, and we have this all to ourselves today. We're jumping off this waterfall here. Pretty deep. You might be able to hear it, and we're going to jump off in three, two, one. Sick. 
So, as you probably know by now, one of our favourite things to do is jump off stuff. <laughs> especially the boys. Yeah, especially the boys, if it's safe. But, so we've come back down to Twin Falls and Elliot Falls. But this time we come down to Twin. The other day we've just done Elliot. And Haley come for a little walk and we found the best jump rock in any of the falls here, by far. Um, so I'll give you a look over the edge. So it's reasonably high, but the good thing about this one is it's really, really deep. So you don't have to worry about landing on rocks. And not too much current. Yeah, and there's not too much current, so not good boys aren't going to get washed away. It is so much better than Elliot. So? So much better. We're well, going to spend a little while doing this. Caravan Park and we're just taking a bit of a walk down to the wharf here it is absolutely beautiful it is stinking hot and the water is so inviting as you can see behind me but it is crop infested so I don't think I'd like to go in for a swim and get eaten so I'm gonna go down to the wharf see if we can catch some dinner but the boys are going for a, on a fishing charter tomorrow, so hopefully we will be eating fish for the rest of the week. But let's try our luck on the local wharf here. We did come down and catch some bait fish just before, some liveies. So let's see how we go. It's fighting now. That is Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Right, so crock tent done and dusted. If you're planning on sticking to some sort of budget, don't stop in there. But if you are planning on some cool souvenirs, crock tent's definitely it. I got my shirt. Yeah, we've all got shirts, boys got hats, we've got all stacked up. So, anyway, um, now we've got about 15 k's to the tip. Um, the road up here is pretty ordinary, so it might take a little bit to get up that, but yeah, when we get there, we'll show you the top of Australia. <laughs> so we've landed in the car park, and now we've just got the walk to the tip. So the tide's out, so we can get along the beach at the moment. Not sure if we're going over the rocks or down the beach, but there are two options. So we will get out there and we'll show you that infamous sign. I'm not gonna bore you with the walk out there, but we'll, uh, Definitely show you the sign when we get out there. We're here. We're here, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. So good. Quite a bloody long drive it's been, but here we are, tip of Australia. A little bit windy, but we're just getting some photos and we're getting out of everyone's way. So we made it! Yay! Most northern point of Australia. Point of Australia. Yeah. How fantastic is that? And what an epic trip it was, done it with the most amazing people. Um, had no real incidents, so it was perfect. We couldn't have gone any better, I reckon. And a shout out to Roman in Aram because we did catch up with them up in the Cape as well, and they we yeah. all travelled together for a little bit. So yeah, Tyson and Lana didn't have quite the best luck, but they uh, got it all sorted. And they're back on the road travelling with their brand new baby. So congratulations, guys! Yeah, Bear. congrats, guys. So as we said, 2023 was epic. Um, hope you enjoyed this little recap. But 2024 is now upon us and we have got some banging stuff coming up. 
We are coming live to you at the moment in our brand new Yonder G-Shock that we picked up just recently and we will be showing you through that there very, will be, very soon. Yes, there will be plenty <laughs> of van content to come, so if you want to be part of the trip and try it, go and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, um, please subscribe because we know so many of you watching out there, you must be enjoying what we're yeah. putting down if you're watching, so please press that subscribe, the yeah. like and give us a hello in the comments. And we love having you along. We love building this little community because we've got some epic people amongst us. So, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next week with our first episode of the new year. So, let's bring on 2024. You See you guys. Bye.